Okay. Cain, what are signs that a man is serious about a woman? I think some of the signs that that we display is um, we're kind of closer to the woman. You know, at first we kind of keep our distance in a in a way where we don't want to get too close because we don't know if this is really true or if this is really something I really want to get into. So you know, we kind of keep keep our little distance a little bit. So if they're getting a little closer in that sense, I think that's a sign. I think when they start to include you in a lot of the um their day-to-day -day activities and things of that nature when we're talking we're getting close and you you're knowing that hey look i'm doing this or i'm doing that or they invite you to some of their activities uh another thing is bringing family member and friends around this particular person mm. you know once you start bringing family and friends around you want everybody to see you know this uh this significant other that you are you know um courting or whatever the case may be so i think that's a, a good sign i think that you know basically just kind of you know having you know having a woman uh a part of your circle bringing them into your circle versus you joining theirs they're you're opening the door for them to come into your your world or whatever what do you what do you think what do you say okay well, you you had mentioned uh, being closer. I I just don't too much agree with that one because we're gonna be close. Um, just because we're trying to, the man is usually trying to get with the lady, you know, so they can be intimate. Well, okay? I ain't talking about that. I, mean, I ain't talking about that. Now. Closest, I'm not talking about closer. The closest, having sex. No. Okay. Just mm -hmm. well, that, you know, it, that's fine that you say that right mm -hmm. there. But we're gonna try to be close, you know, because that's what it leads to, mm -hmm. you know, usually with a man. Okay. That's just being truthful. Now I'll say signs that, uh, a man serious about the lady, a couple of things that you did say, Hey, I want you to come with me. We going to, you know, his favorite team is the boys. We, we got to go to this. You usually go with the boys. Baby, I want you to come with me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Now he bring yeah. you for, for real into his yeah. world. Yeah. Okay. He he not bring the boys, baby. Come on, let's do this. All right. He involved you at a lot of his activities. Mm -hmm. You didn't know this dude like the axe throw <laughs> or whatever, <laughs> or going to the gun range. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying things that he likes to do. Well, he involves you like that, and then you hit on. One thing, I didn't think it was key, but it is key. When that man takes you to the family reunion or takes you to meet moms and dad, if they're still around, mm -hmm. or auntie, mm -hmm. and let me say, if he takes you to meet grandmama, something is a brewing. Okay. Grandma. Oh, we got the- That's uh, if grandma's yeah, still around, you know? Yeah, if grandma's still around or whoever that, that older figure is, mm -hmm. Kane, because you know grandma or that older figure, after y'all leave and you go back, she's going to tell you everything she thinks. <laughs> Don't bring her around here yeah. no more. I can tell. Oh, I can more. tell. I mean, that is, yeah. that's, that's true. And then I will say this too. Baby, come on and go to church with me. I want you to come to come uh, worship with me. Uh, I, I, know, I know that's yeah. iffy. Because that's, you take that's your friend iffy, to church, you know? You take your friend to church, yeah. right? You be like, hey, man, come on. Come come with me to church, man. Yeah, yeah. but when you, when you taking that young lady yeah, but... to church with you, come on. That do mean a little something right there. <laughs> All right? Y'all sitting there, come on now. That I mean, that's true. Mm -hmm. um, another sign is when a man is uh, serious about that lady now when he's telling you um i would say things that that's real personal to him 
he's letting you into his his world as far as I agree. I agree. this is what I'm I'm trying to do. This is where I see myself. Yeah. Um he's giving you pretty much the intimate details of his life. And you're not just gonna share that to be for a man to be open and vulnerable uh is a big thing. So when he's doing things like like that, mm-hmm. you you are the one because he's not doing that to every female he's with. And then when he sees you, wants to see you every weekend, things are are uh, let's see, barbecue and meal do mm-hmm. things are up between you. So that's 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 uh, what I'll say. And the big thing is that. You see the respect that he gives to you, too. Yeah, yeah. I I, I agree with that, man. Uh, uh, the respect, uh, bringing them into your world and, and showing them in, and including them. So um, when you start to include a, a, a woman into the things that you're doing, um, and it can be investments, it can be uh, activities, mm. it can just, uh, you know, bounce ideas and things of that nature off of them and kind of, you know, help guide them if they need that, you know, doing that, you, you know, you're, you're opening up, you're kind of being vulnerable in that sense. And when you see a man is being a little bit vulnerable at the same time, he he is serious. He's serious about you because he don't tell everybody this. This is nothing. 100%, he's he's hey. not passing this information out to all the people that he talked to or whatever. There are friends yeah. that may not know these different things or whatever. You know what I mean? Yes. So, yes. you know, you can consider yourself, you know, in a serious relationship when you, these men are displaying, you know, things like this, you know, what I, I mean, I was trying to think of something else that maybe we do or say or because I know that, you know, including in all the activities, but um, and, and you, you <laughs> like to share. Look, you, you like Jane, I'm going to like, I'm going to say oh, this. Oh, okay, go ahead. This is a disclaimer. Okay, now I'm just talking to the ladies. Okay, because Kane, I know you didn't do this, and I did not do this when we were younger. Mm-hmm. Just cause a man say he love you, ladies. Okay, that does not mean that. Cause some guys, you got to know mm-hmm. this, will say that just to get get the good gracious, yep. to okay? get the good gracious, and to um, say that you know uh, get get on their good side or whatever. Yes. So you know that yes. you know it can happen. It can happen more often. Um, maybe she, you, you, they may be just leading you on with these words or whatever. And I think a lot of it that when it comes to guys, it's our actions. That Kane, we are on this time. We are together. Okay, mm-hmm. uh, on this uh, topic, yep. it is a man's actions. He might not be wordy, ladies. That's just sometimes our makeup. I know you want to hear. I love you. If I'm not ready, if a man is not ready to say that, but what is his actions toward you? Yeah. 100% commitment, and he's showing the love. Even if he doesn't say it, one day he will say those words to you. Mm -hmm. But you go by, we usually go by the the actions. And the ladies, y'all usually are verbal when you talk and want to talk about everything yep. and you say, I love you so quick mm-hmm. a lot, mm-hmm. but it's just a difference. Yep. And it's a different type of love too. Cause you know, you can have love for a friend. You can have love for, right. you know, a coworker or whatever. Right. You have, I, I got this love. Ooh. Right. That's, yeah. And you ooh. hear that, you hear that from time. To, I love you. Yeah. That's my home boy. That, that's my home girl or whatever. But then that, that love that you're talking about is that, that sacred, like we don't just throw that word around. We, when we say it, that, we mean it. You know what I mean? You know, yeah. and this is true, guys. So don't get, you know, uh, caught up in the facade, you know, for a guy that he may say these different things and he may not be, his actions don't show it. He just says it just to see, you know, get a reaction from you. And maybe just like you said, get the good gracious. You know what I mean? To get yeah. So yeah, you got to, you got to kind of look at that sense too. But I mean, guys, man, we are, we're simple. We are simple. We're not complicated. I know yes. we're different. That's we're different true. from the women. Guarantee we are or whatever. Yes. But, you know, uh, and, and, you know, men, we, we are like logical and more so women are like uh, emotional 
or whatever. And that's why they mesh because you don't want to have two emotional people <laughs> or two logical people. Mm. It, it doesn't, it just doesn't go. So, I mean, they, they fit together uh, hand in glove. So I would say, you know, if you, if you paying attention to the, and we've done, we, we have, you know, give us a thumbs up if you, if you made it this far uh, in the comments to us and let us know how you feel about this. But uh, we've done videos uh, about that, you know, in, in a sense, just, you know, how, how to vet your partner to know that this is, this is, this is, is this somebody that we really want to be with? Uh, are they showing the signs that, um, that they are serious or they're just, you know, how women say, Oh, he playing around. Yeah, he playing, he playing yeah, around. He playing around. He ain't serious, and then and then the relationship is done, or she let it go, or they find a way to kind of separate or whatever. So you got to kind of look at it like that. That's how I, that's how I see it, you know. But yeah, but I, I'll say this too. But you know, when we doing this courtship and everything like that, uh, don't allow just a time clock to put a time clock unless y'all talk yes. about it. Uh, in the beginning, oh, in two years, I need to be married and everything. That's what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. A lady, a man tells you that it's on you to decide if you want to continue to go through with that or whatever. Yeah. They already put their expectations on mm -hmm. you right there. And that's up front. Mm -hmm. Can you fault them for that? <laughs> Can you? Uh, uh, you because know? it happens both ways. So let's say, for instance, a female is dating a guy and he's moving way faster than she wants to move. And he's mm -hmm. like, you know, I'm I'm just trying to go ahead and, you know, get married. Let's go ahead and do it. She's like, hold up. <laughs> Wait a second. What's the rush or whatever? And then you got, you know, some individuals that take a long time to figure that out. If that's something. And then you got uh same thing with vice versa when it comes to the woman or whatever. She has a time clock. She puts a, I don't know, I feel like, you know, uh, women, you know, really pay attention to numbers and time. You know what I mean? Yes. Uh, for some reason, they're like, well, I don't have enough time for this. On It'll happen. It will happen. But you got to just let it happen rather than force it force it to happen because you're forcing time and you're forcing after a year or two of me dating you and if you ain't married i'm gone so you may miss something here you don't even know if that was you you're dictating time like how do you know that now you still got to pay attention to the time you know if it's getting if you're not seeing the signs if you're not seeing the signs and time is still passing then i guess that would be a uh your your cue to get up out of there or whatever you know what, what were you just about to say oh no i was just agreeing with you oh, okay. we just can't let dictate that time right yeah. there but uh my my final thoughts and just specifically speaking to the ladies mm -hmm. if you're paying attention to that man and how he is treating you the things that you're doing and what he's communicating to you, sometimes non-verbally, because that's a form of communication too, you decide right then that you know that this person is for you, that you want to continue in this or not. But men are simple. Yes. I, we are I totally simple. agree, man. My final thoughts, I agree with you. Uh, men are simple, not complicated. Don't dig into it. Don't go into your mind about it. Uh, we, we will display our cards right there, and you'll be able to see exactly, especially if we're open to you, and you see that we're open to you, you'll be able to see yeah. our cards. So you, there's no, like, oh, my God, I didn't even know that. No, if he's, if you didn't know that, then you he wasn't open at the beginning. That's how I see it, mm. you know. So, All hey, right. in the comments, let us know how you feel about this. This is one of those relationship topics or whatever. And I know a lot of the um, the YouTube streets love these relationship topics. In the comments, yeah. let us know how you feel about that, you know. Uh, and, you know, if you came up with some signs that we didn't speak about because maybe we just didn't, you know, cover it or whatever, put it in the comments. Let us know. Give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. For sure. Let's go. Hey, hey, hey. I'm telling you, bro. You <laughs> Just... Hit, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe, we got it.
We got y'all. We got y'all covered. Day in, day out. And that's the uncomfortable truth. Hey! Do something. Do something. Baby! You know, if you don't want to see us, but you want to just listen to us, we on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon, Pandora, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, all of them, all of them. 